Linking your notebooks makes them easier to navigate so you can skip from one note to another. You can create independent links on a blank space or add them to already existing text in your notebook. Let's start with creating an independent link. Place your cursor anywhere. Go to edit and add the link. Typing something will start suggesting notebooks that you can link to. When use no title is ticked, you can't add a name for your link. So this name part, you can't interact with it in any way. So here's our link, and you can see that it is using the notebook title for its text. The shortcut for creating links is Command K. This time, let's tick off Use Note and not add a name to just see what happens when we do that. The app still used the notebook title, but it skipped the notebook icon. Now let's name our link. You can also select some text. Let us bring up a pop-up menu to add our link. The text you select automatically becomes the title for the link. You can then look for the notebook you want to link to. Tapping on a link opens the linked notebook. You can use this for all sorts of things, and a very practical way is to create a contents page of sorts to link different notebooks in a folder, for example. So let us do that for our Mac course folder. which has four notebooks, but we'll only be linking three of them because the fourth one is the notebook we're currently in. Now instead of navigating to different folders, you can move to your different notebooks from this notebook. Apple Notes can also link to notes from other apps on your Mac or to websites. For websites, simply type or paste the URL. Tapping on that link will take you straight to the website.
And now for linking to other apps, those apps need to be able to create links. So let's start with Craft. I will copy the link to this block and paste it in Apple Notes. Tapping on the link now takes me to the block. But the way Craft does this is a little convoluted. So let's try another app that is more direct. So in GoodNotes, I copied a link from there. Close the app, pasted it into Apple Notes, and now tapping the link opens the notebook in GoodNotes. Right clicking a website or links from other apps gives you a pop up menu with options to open, edit, copy. Or preview the link. Previewing turns the link into a thumbnail of the website. And by default, it's large. And this can either be a plain link which is what we had before but this was not the text we had before. And the thumbnail by default is large. But you can make it smaller. Right-clicking a notebook link a link where you are linking to something in Apple Notes has slightly different options. You can open the notebook or open it in another window. You can also edit the link, which is available for all links, and this will just take you back to where you create links to make any changes if you need to. And lastly, for every link you add, you can remove it.